The eccentric rods will be another fairly complex pair of parts to make. Don calls out gauge plate with a bronze boss at the end. But again I'll be working with mild steel, likewise for the boss but I will fit a phosphor bronze bush into it. I'll make each from four separate parts, the main body, the boss, the oil pot and the phosphor bronze bush. I'll then solder the first three parts together and lock tight the bush in place. I start off in very familiar territory, so I'll keep the common tree to a minimum. I'm drilling two holes in each body, one is for the expansion link pivot pin, the other is the end of the slot for the fork that sits around the expansion link. Although I often use a sharpie for marking out, I do find that it doesn't stay on quite as well as marking out blue. Normally I would now stick this in the machine vise in the miller machine and use a slot drill or an end mill but in the spirit of minimising my use of machine tools I turn to the bench in my files. First I work on the plan profile. I'm not yet quite confident enough to tackle the slotted end by hand, so I do use a slitting saw for that. For the side profile I do use a sharpie, the advantage being it dries much quicker. As usual I use a couple of hardened filing buttons for the rounded end, but this time I glue them in place using Loctite. I also fit a spacer between the two prongs to prevent the forks from getting bent. A word of warning, normal Loctite goes off much much faster than 648, so using without gloves is a little bit foolish, even though I do have a bottle of acetone to hand. To remove the buttons it just takes a bit of heat to break down the Loctite. Considering that I'm not a great lover of filing, I am very pleased with the results here. The bosses were a simple turning exercise. Once turned, I use a then mill to cut slots for the arms and a slot drill to cut holes for the oil pots.
For soldering I made a simple jig to hold the parts together. I've already applied flux paste to the joints and if you look carefully you can just see a couple of little bits of solder resting on the boss. Even though I spaced the boss away from the main bit of bar there, the jig did a great job as a heat sink and I really struggled to get enough heat into where I needed it. I do eventually get the solder to flow nicely around the oil pot but unfortunately it didn't flow all the way around the joint for the arm. I don't show it but I do have a second go which results in solder flowing all the way around the joint but as you can see it's quite messy so not a good joint but it'll clean up with some needle files and some memory. After cleaning up I turn a couple of bushes and lock tight them in place and then get on and drill the oil pots. As before, going down part way at 2.5mm and all the way through at 1mm. To fit the rods I do also need to make a couple of return crank pins, which are a simple turning exercise using some 3.8 hex bar. Theoretically I'm getting very close to being able to run this chassis on air but I do have a list of things that need to be finished off and of course I do need to tackle the pins. Regarding the pivot pins I'll say thank you to Bruce Volkerding and I hope I got his surname right for the suggestion that the pins should be pressed into place. Thanks for watching.